Fantastic night uh, for boxing, especially for women's boxing. Uh, you know, having uh, Cecilia headline HBO uh, on their last broadcast was uh, just a tremendous statement for uh, the sport, the sport of women's boxing, recognizing that she's uh, not only the best pound for pound boxer, the Ring Magazine uh, champion, undisputed champion, undefeated champion but also outside the ring, one of the most marketable athletes that I've ever met. So uh, why don't we uh, introduce and give one more big hand for Cecilia Brekus. She made history on Cinco de Mayo on the Triple G Show with an extremely high rating and uh, now headlining uh, HBO. This was her 24th title defense. If she makes one more title defense, she'll tie the record of Joe Lewis, of the most title defenses uh, in one division. So that's a historic achievement. And uh, Cecilia, why don't you say a few words about uh, fighting on HBO here at the Stub Up Center, your second fight here in Los Angeles. Uh, yes, um, thank you for everybody who is, uh, for coming, for supporting me, for supporting my career. It's been such an amazing honor and uh, two fights on HBO, just like this, bam bam, <laughs> after one. Uh, you know, it's just, it's overwhelming. And what I went, what I've been a part of today, I don't think, I don't think it's possible for me to understand this right now. It has to give some time to really sink in. Uh, what I do know is that uh, this will, uh, that this is not only big for me. This will be. Um, a big deal for young girls, uh, the next generations uh, um, will look uh, at this night and say, you know what, uh, there was a woman, there was a girl headlining the last HBO show. Can you imagine that? I am so proud and, uh, and so grateful for HBO to take this uh, chance and for Tom and 360 Promotion to finally uh, you know, just have the balls and back up the woman, and just you know, just giving giving the promotion, just the support, and uh, I hope I hope uh, more. Um, uh, I hope this will continue, and we will see women boxing grow in the in the future. And uh, all in all, it was a great night and uh, amazing fights. I um, I uh, was. I was very emotional in my fight, of course, because uh, I really want to make a worthy ending for this uh, for this uh, historical run from HBO's boxing. But um, so I was chasing I was chasing that knockout, and you know when you're chasing the knockout, that's uh, that's when it's uh, harder to, to to get the the results you want. But I just uh, hope that. Uh, uh, everybody here at the Stop Hub Center and everybody home was entertained and um, um, looking forward to be back again. Up here, her, uh, her chief second, her trainer, Jonathan, uh, took over the uh, training duties of Vladimir Klitschko, who was the best heavyweight champion, one of the longest reigns in the heavyweight championship history. Now he's working with the best uh, pound for pound female champion. Jonathan, why don't you say a few words on uh, how significant this fight was for uh, Cecilia's career? Um, I think every fight at this point for Cecilia is a, um, is a significant fight because um, she's walking on the path of what you can call, um, if, if you can say greatness, because she's doing something for the first time. And anytime you're the first to do something, that's pretty much the hardest walk you'll see. Everybody else can eat off the plates that basically she's making because she's the first to do it. So, um, Is that why they call her the first lady? Right. That's, that's, why she's, that's, that's why she's the first lady, you know. She's the first lady to be in the studio, first lady to be featured on HBO, first lady to be made on HBO, 
So everybody that shoot for being undisputed after this, um, they just, they, it's just being, she's the first to do it. So for their jobs and their marketability will be a little bit easier. And I honestly believe she, her, the way she act, her lifestyle, what people see is the blueprint on a well marketed person. And I think that 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 is key also in um in women boxing. And it's kind of a bittersweet night because um it's HBO's last show. They're about to get out of the boxing business. And thanks thankful to the late great Manny Stewart, I was able to be around um Larry Merchant Jim Lapley for many, many years before even before I turned pro myself because of Emmanuel was always commentating. He was always, everybody knew once he said HBO was calling, he about to head straight to the airport because he got to go do a, um, he got to go do a broadcast. So it was a bittersweet night, but yet it's a big celebration because HBO has played such a major part in the lives of so many legendary fighters. I think I saw um, Kevin Kelly back there. Which is um, <laughs> which is another also fighter to follow HBO. Man, HBO has broke out um, plenty plenty of stars in the in the year in a long run at the, at the top of um, the boxing game, and it's been a great pleasure to be a part of it. Just want to know that JB has uh, acknowledged Kevin Kelly. Kevin Kelly uh, was my first fight on HBO when he won uh, WBC featherweight championship against Goyo Vargas in Reno, Nevada. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was 25 years, four days ago, December 1st, 1993. Kevin Kelly uh, was undefeated. Goyo Vargas, undefeated. Uh, went on to win the championship. Defended many times. Had the historic fight against Nassim Ahmed in Madison Square Garden. One of the most exciting fights you'll ever see in boxing. And uh, we were proud to have uh, Kevin here commentating the uh, the stream internationally and so appreciate that. Why don't you give Kevin Kelly a hand here? Thank you. So with that, we can uh, now that uh, Mike brought out all the uh, the hardware here. Uh, those are all hard earned titles. Um, we can open it up for uh, questions uh, for Cecilia or uh, for John. Um, I guess. Uh, that's a very impressive war chest over there. Where do you plan to go from here? Well, how can you top this? How can you how, how can you do that? Um, I don't know right now. I uh, we have to you know this hasn't even sunk in really what this night is for meant mean for us, mean for HBO and means for all the fighters at the show, but also for the next generation of young girls. It's uh, so many levels. Um, I, I really need some time to really get to um, understand what I have been part of. So when we have done that, we will um, together with Tom uh, figure out the next steps. We saw, I saw Cyborg was in the ring, so maybe that would be one way to go. Uh, that is something I haven't done before, so. Um, but you know, um, right now, I, I don't think we can, uh, we don't have any plan, but you know, HBO's last farewell, you know, one door closed and another door opened, so I'm excited to see what's happening next year. How would you grade yourself in this fight? Well, I got a little bit emotional because, you know, this is a big deal. I, I'm a girl from Norway, from a country where professional boxing was banned for since 1981 and just opened up for professional boxing. And, and suddenly, you know, we are like five, six million people in the whole of Norway. And suddenly I'm in LA, you know, and uh, the first women on, H, on an HBO headlining. and. And I don't know how many people are in LA, you know. <laughs> it's it's uh, probably as many as in my where I'm coming from. So so this is a big deal for a girl. And uh, um, what was your question? On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your? Ah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it was, I'm, I'm happy about the fight, but it was a little bit too emotional because I wanted to close off the fight with a knockout. 
you know, for the whole HBO family. So I couldn't get that, but I hope I delivered an entertaining fight. You know, it's pretty brutal to be a girl because one fight that maybe not if that fight wouldn't have been, have been good, it, you know, you represent every girl, you know, and it's 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 pretty. It, it can be tough, you know, because you know that you have to deliver it. Unless you, if you don't deliver the fight, it's suddenly the whole for all the women, you know, it, it's 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 pretty tough. So so I, but I, I think I, I think I did good tonight. I, I think I delivered and uh, I had fun and I hope I just hope it was an ent entertaining fight. And yeah, tonight she was in attendance. Now she's fighting in Las Vegas uh, at the end of this end of this year. Uh, if that's a fight that can be made next year, that would be a huge statement for uh, women's combat sports. I wouldn't even say women's boxing, women's combat sports having uh, one of the most popular UFC fighters fighting the uh, undisputed uh, pound for pound boxing champion that's uh, in the prime of their careers. That's, uh, that's a huge statement. So that would be uh, something, if it's possible, we'd certainly like to explore it. Um, there's other champions out there, uh, higher divisions, lower divisions that we can uh, look, look to see. Um, right now, uh, Cecilia would take some time off over the holidays, go back to Norway, and we'll kind of regroup and see uh, what's in store for next year. Great thing about women's boxing is you see with the television exposure, it's definitely, you can, you can feel, you know, with Katie Taylor out there and the Serrano sisters and, uh, and Carissa Shields, what she did today, uh, opening up the, the telecast. Uh, Christina Hammer was there in the audience. Uh, you know, there's really uh, a lot of uh, outstanding uh, female boxers. Uh, Maricela Corneo is here with us uh, in, in the audience. And, um, you know, just uh, when the opportunities like what Cecilia has done, when the opportunities uh, present themselves, she'll inspire the next generation of girls to say, maybe that is something I can do in the ring. Like she said, uh, boxing, professional boxing was banned in Norway for 35 years, and she single-handedly was the one to get that reinstated because a world champion should be allowed to fight in their own home country. And that's, uh, she was the one why they changed the law, and now she's over here in the United States, her second fight, headlining HBO. It's a huge statement, so. Uh, just a quick question. Um, you mentioned Chris Cyborg uh, and her potentially next. Uh, are you referring to a boxing bout or a mixed martial arts bout? And that would be a boxing match, yeah. Right. You know, it would be like uh, a female version of uh, Mayweather McGregor. Um, that is something that kind of tickles me a little bit. That, that's never been done. I like stuff that hasn't been done before. <laughs> and Cyborg has a tremendous uh, stand-up uh, game in the uh, UFC. So uh, we'll all be watching her fight, Cecilia, because uh, Cyborg came over here to support her or to watch her fight. Cecilia is uh, thinking about going to Vegas to, to watch the Cyborg fight. And uh, that, that fight's building a lot of momentum. Cyborg is one of the best uh, stand-up fighters in the, in the UFC. And uh, you see how physically strong she is. And uh, I think that, that could be a very interesting, very interesting match. All of you from coming out, coming out, supporting the show. Really Please give a round of applause for Tom Lawson for quick on this